In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips if you want to improve your landscape photography in the Dolomite Mountains in the north of Italy. Now, these tips come from my own experience. I visited Dolomites uh, in 2015. That was the first time when I visited uh, these mountains. And from that moment on, I was fortunate enough to go there and photograph each year. So I kind of start noticing some patterns and some things that are happening. And I want to share with you um, some, of these, uh, some of these tips. Maybe you will have um, a better trip in the Dolomites, you'll get better photos. And uh, who knows, maybe we will meet there on one of those uh, beautiful hiking trails. Now let's start with the most important tip. That is tip number one and that is when you go and visit the Dolomites if you want to do some landscape photography in the area. Well, my advice is this. Don't go in July or August. It is, it is packed with tourists. Uh, the Dolomites is an area where people are going for biking, hiking, going for um, extreme climbing, for photography, so there are lots of reasons for which they are going there. So don't go in these months because it's going to be full of tourists and it's going to be a lot difficult to photograph. It's not going to be impossible, but it's going to be difficult. So my advice for you is to go, for example, in September. That is where I also have my photo tour because in September there are less people going in the Dolomites. There are also roads that are opening and you can go by car. You don't have to uh, go by a cable railway and be constrained to the program of the, of the cable railway because usually these are closed by five, so you can't stay for the sunset. You have certain benefits, but the most important benefit is that there are less people in those, uh, in those mountains. Tip number two, don't be scared of rainy days. Uh, Dolomites are really impressive. There are really huge mountains and they have their own climate. Don't, uh, don't, be a, don't, don't get scared if the um, uh, weather forecast says you're going to have rain 24 hours. This is what happened, for example, uh, this year when I, I had my photo tour. The first three or four days, the forecast said that it's going to rain the entire day and it rained only a little bit and that little bit was exactly what we needed because we had those beautiful mists and that beautiful fog rising from the mountain and because of that we had another really beautiful sunrise. Um, yes, you're going to have to be prepared with, uh, uh, with uh, clothings that will allow you to stay there if the rain catches up with you but remember, once the rain is over, the spectacular mountains uh, are going to be a really beautiful subject for you to photograph. So again, don't be afraid or don't get scared if rainy days are coming during your trip. It is for the best. So you should be out there uh, waiting for the rain to stop and get that really beautiful and powerful um, photos uh, of those magic conditions that are happening right when the rain is stopping. Just like you can see in this photo with uh, Trecime di Lavaredo, where you have the dark clouds of the rain to one side of the image and the beautiful uh, sun to the other side of the image. Now, tip number three. Um, not only go in September, but go in the second part of September, go late September. That is when, again, I organized my photo tour, but the reason for that is because a more extreme weather is likely to happen. And this year we had a lack of some snow falling. And when you have this combination of green grass uh, or green mountain, and then you have snow on the top of the, uh, of the mountains, the contrast is really beautiful and you get the chance of capturing these really beautiful mountains in a completely different way. Like for example in this photo uh, in Val di Fiume where I have uh, the valley that is green and then I have the top of the mountain or the top of Seceda mountain 
covered in snow. So this contrast looks really well and you get the chance of capturing this in late, in late September because that is usually when the weather changes in the Dolomites. So you should consider visiting uh, these mountains in late September. Tip number four. Usually in landscape photography we say, okay, the best moment to photograph is during sunrise or sunset and during the day when the sun is really harsh, you don't have anything to photograph with. That is something that it, it's not valid for the Dolomites. The mountains are incredible in this area. They will have lots of clouds. There is, uh, I mean, in September, in August, the first time that I visited the Dolomites was in August. In August, we had a clear sky and yes, it, it wasn't that beautiful. But if you go in September, it doesn't matter if you want to join my photo tour or you want to go by yourself, the weather is going to be the same for both of us. So in September, the weather condition, uh, the weather conditions get dramatic. And first of all, you're going to have clouds and you're going to have shadows uh, in, the, um, in the mountain. But also the mountains are are, I don't know, they, they are in such a way that there's one peak here and another peak that creates a shadow on this one and you get this really beautiful contrast and this play of light and darkness and you get the chance of capturing something really beautiful. The only thing is, um, is you have to focus and look for things like that. Usually during the day when people are visiting the Dolomites, uh, even if they are there, for uh, photography, they then tend to do those uh, scenery photos, those, those photos that are touristic if you want. But if you start thinking differently, just a little bit, you may end up with some really interesting and beautiful uh, photos. And the last tip, tip number five. It doesn't matter the weather, you go for every sunrise and for every sunset and for every one of these two moments, stay there until it's finally and completely over. Let me give you some examples in my photos. This year uh, we were in Val di Fiore and it was nothing, nothing. The, 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 the sky was gray, the horizon was full of clouds. I stayed, stayed and said, well, according to my experience, uh, this uh, sunset, it's not going to be uh, something interesting, we should pack. And I had one of the participants, a lady, that said, well, I have a feeling that something interesting is going to happen. Again, according to my experience, nothing is going to happen, <laughs> nothing interesting is going to happen. At a certain point, I said, uh, okay, I, 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 had, I had enough of this, I, I'll get my backpack and I'm going to leave. And I, I don't think I, I managed to, to take 10 or 20 steps and uh, I don't know the sun kind of finds a hole in the clouds and the entire valley becomes full full of light and that lady looks at me well according to your experience <laughs> you, you don't have that much experience <laughs> so stay there until the last light it's over again uh, for a sunrise again during this uh, photo tour in September. Nothing was happening during the, sun, uh, the sunrise. This was the, the image, this was the feeling, but uh, um, at, at the end, towards the end, when we decided, okay, it's time to go, the sun kind of finds a, a hole in the clouds and it starts to shine and cast a really beautiful light uh, on the surrounding uh, peaks and we get these really beautiful photos. So, Stay there until the sunrise and sunset are really, really over. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have something to add, use the comment section below. And again, if you want to join me for one of my photo tours uh, in Tuscany or maybe in the, in the Dolomites or maybe Lofoten Islands, uh, there is a link in the description of this video to my website. You have all the details there. there. Until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.